Well, the NBA isn't the only American organization feeling the heat as they try to walk this line between supporting democracy in Hong Kong, but not angering China, at least their government, in the process. So it's a time for these corporations, uh, you know, to, to look at human rights over profits. And really, is a time for them to stand up to the big bad bully of China. Here, the way in Heritage Foundation senior advisor and spokesperson Genevieve Wood. Genevieve, you're one of my favorite guests, on, and this is oh. one of my favorite topics because <laughs> I think I think of large American businesses have sold their soul, and now I think you know what? It's coming back to haunt them. What do you think? I think you're absolutely right, and I think it's time for Americans to start asking questions of these businesses. I mean, look, the NBA is the National Be uh, Basketball Association. It is not the International Basketball Association, and they seem to be much more concerned about the money coming into their bank accounts than they even do defending the rights of a U.S. citizen for free speech. I mean, the Houston Rockets general manager didn't do this on behalf of the Houston Rockets or the NBA. He spoke as an American citizen, and yet they're not very concerned about his free speech rights. They want to shut those down to please the Chinese. And Charles, I mean, I, I don't think I have to tell you how hypocritical this is. I mean, you look at the NBA, whether it's players that have spoken out on political issues, uh, whether it's the North Carolina uh, debate over the ba over the bathrooms. Or, but, you know, the NBA and their players has often talked about their concerns about racism. Uh, they talked about how they were concerned about the so-called Muslim ban uh, that the president uh, put into play. That's not what I think it was, but that's what they called it. Right. But yet, you go over to China and in one of the regions in China where the NBA has set up a training center in Zhejiang, it is one of the most oppressive regimes against Muslims. It is one of those areas where they actually take the children of Muslim parents, put them in orphanages, while they basically put Muslim parents in what they call uh, rethinking camps, concentration camps is what most of us would right. call it. Lots of oppression going on there, but the NBA doesn't seem to care about that or even want to talk about it because the money covers all that up. So then what, where do we go from here? Because it's not just the NBA, right? I mean, American That's companies right. make big profits in this country, and then they, quote, unquote, reinvest it in China. They're setting up major infrastructure there, and some of them seem willing to give up intellectual property. They know it's being stolen from them in order to have access to that market. Well, and you know what, Charles, I actually am, am thankful that when businesses and the free market goes into very uh, oppressive places like China and starts exposing what the Chinese government is and starts showing the people there what freedom can look like, that can be a good thing unless you're willing to give up everything else right. just to stay in those places. And unfortunately, with the NBA and some of the other companies you've mentioned, they seem to be willing to give up the good things that they could be doing in those countries, truly advertising freedom and bringing freedom into those markets. Right. They're willing to give that up just to get more money back at home. And I think Americans, I think we're on to it, yes. but I think we should hold these companies and these uh, sports franchises, we should hold them accountable. I think we are. I think, I think this is the, a new dawn. Genevieve, great having this conversation with you. See Thank you soon. Thank you, Charles. And folks